In this video you will learn how to configure delays for outputs and for different investigation modes, in PCC configuration utility. The first step is to run the PCC application. Before making any changes, a confirmation is required that configuration created applies to regional safety regulations, and you are aware of the potential risks. Confirm this warning message by clicking OK. Start from opening your site project, or creating a new one. Now click on the panel you want to modify. The PCC software offers several ways to set delays in the system, but the basic method is to define delays for groups of outputs in individual zones. So go to the zone section, and select the one you want to edit. Define the delays in the lower section of the configuration window, separately for each output group. Use the arrows to add or delete groups which are to be triggered, once zone is activated. That is, when the devices belonging to the zone report a fire alarm. Enter a delay in seconds, for each output group in the table. The default is 0 seconds, no delay. If a second stage delay has been configured in the panel properties, Type the warning delay value for the sounder output groups. Note that the delay set here will be ignored, if the fire alarm is coming from a manual call point. The delay can also be set to be overridden by two detectors in the zone that are in fire alarm, using the alarm detection coincidence zones option. If set to yes, the second alarm is processed as a manual call point alarm. Now follow the same procedure in each of the used zones to define the delays. You can also use the wizard to do this automatically for all, or selected group of zones. It will allow you to configure multiple zones, to activate the output groups with the same delay values. Another way to define delays is to use rules. If your system has rules programmed, you can apply the delays available in the rule structure, to delay the activation of the associated outputs or output groups. Here is an example. If the fire panel goes into alarm, activate the first group of siren outputs with a delay of 35 seconds. The last option, which can be set directly on an output group, is to use the delay when the confirmation enabled is set to yes. Then you have a window, in which you can define a delay for activating a given group of outputs. Lastly, we will discuss modes of alarm investigation. In the general panel parameters, you can select a type of delay for an investigation on site, in case of fire alarm detection. All subsequent options are the result of the previous choice. For the max acknowledge time, it's required to type the timeout period for the investigation. If the alarm is acknowledged during this timeout, then sounders or fire routing delays process as configured. If alarm is not acknowledged, then these are activated when the investigation time elapses. For both of the extended types, with the panel silence button or the sounders start stop button, the defined extended fire routing delay becomes active, only when alarm is acknowledged during the configured fire routing delay. Otherwise it proceeds with a normal delay.